Hello everyone, this is Mr. PC23, your game unboxing of the NZXT Beta Evo case. This is $45 on Newegg, and I can see why. It looks like someone already opened it. Pick this up, I don't know how well you'll be able to see without. Yeah, so, this is how I got it shipped. Thanks a lot, UPS or Newegg or whoever did it. Okay, let's see if I can move the camera so you can see just a little bit better. On a tripod. Oh, this is relatively pointless because I'm just going to be flipping it anyways. The flipping method, the most effective one. There we are. Beautiful. On this case. There we go. It's right side up. Okay, so it comes packaged in this foam. The foam is cracked on this one. I don't know how much like that, because that means it's probably dropped. But oh well, it looks good. That's all I care about. And let me try to move the camera. Sorry about this. There you go. Stay. All right, I'll take this off. Can't move my light anymore, otherwise it'll fall off my desk. All right, let's take this foam off. Throw it in the box. Normally, I would, I would uh, cut the tape at the bottom and open it through the bottom. So once I'm done with my build, the client has the satisfaction of cutting open the top with a fresh seal. I don't know. It's just nice. Take this out of the camera. Take this off. Sorry. Very limited on space here. Okay. This plastic off. And it is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know how well you can see it, but, alright, so, this is the front, you've got four five and a quarter inch bays, I'll push that back so there's a bit more light, four five and a quarter inch bays, you have a 120 millimeter blue LED fan that comes with it, the, the fan itself is black but it has blue LEDs, they're pretty dim, but you know what, it's nice that they include an LED one with the case, one at all anyways, and the mesh on this is removal, as is the mesh right here. Hold on, I'm trying to move this. There we go. Lighting is a little bit better. There's mesh here that you can take out, and these mesh panels come off. And then there's, uh, all of this is filtered. So there's filters behind all of this, which is really nice. Great power, your reset button. These light up blue when they're active. All right, let's take a look at the side panel. You can see that? Yes, you can. All right. So you've got these thumb screws, which is really, really nice. Just take those right off. Actually. Here you go. Uh, you can't really see that, I give up. Anyways, they're nice thumb screws. Just slide off. You've got two one milli uh, two 120 millimeter fan mounts. Ah, look at the inside, it's black. Look at that silver crap. Okay, let's take this out. What are we, what is this? The, oh, it's just pretty much just the manual. All the stuff that you need to know. Okay. Whatever. I already own one, so I know it all. Whew. Excuse me. These are the drive mounts. So it's a removable drive. Er, sorry. It's a toolless design. Let's cut this open. This box has all of your toolless stuff. Excuse me. Ha. Huh. It has all your mounts. You've got a couple zip ties with it. Let's see. Got your baggie of screws and mounts. You've got your toolless CD-ROM drive and a bunch of toolless hard drive ones. Is there anything else important in here? Oh, your floppy drive mount, which I hope you don't use that. Oh, also comes with a, a motherboard speaker. All right, put that away. So I don't have to deal with that. So, let's look at the case. Move the light now. That's not better. Okay. Well, you have all your front panel connectors along with eSATA right here. eSATA goes to the top, which I will show you the top, because I am a kind person. Up at the top, you've got your eSATA, two USB 2.0, headphone, microphone jack. All right. Hold on. I'm trying to maneuver a tripod. It's probably a horrendous idea. Anyways, you've got two 120 or 140 millimeter fan mounts. Which is really nice if you have a 240 rad. Oh, 
One thing to note about this, I found this out sort of the hard way. Um, you cannot have fans and a radiator fit on the inside of the case because the motherboard is pretty much right here. So you can fit a fan or a radiator. You can't have them stacked like that. And you can't fit an extra large one like a uh, Corsair, was it H80 or H70? One of those two. I'm not sure which. Anyways, yeah, so that's, that's sort of a problem. Excuse my cell phone. So, let's look at the inside. Alright, let's take a look. So, you've got a huge cutout. So, you, ooh, thought that was sharp. Nope. Huge cutout for your uh, cooler replacement. You've got a 120 millimeter or 90 or 80, I think it's an 80 millimeter fan mount. You've got really nice mesh. Uh, PCI, not PCI, sorry, <laughs> expansion port covers, um, water hole, sorry, excuse me, um, water cooling tube holes, so I would kind of wish they were up here, but I don't know, maybe it was just more convenient to have them down here, but up there would be better. You've got a bottom, bottom mounted power supply with a removable um, mesh filter. Um, I never bothered taking my out, I just sprayed it, and you've got a little rubber feet right here to reduce vibration and this is your um, three and a half inch bay drive you've got five of them yeah you have five and you can have them pointing through here so the cables go down here or facing towards you if you really want so here's your floppy drive mount or sorry two and a quarter inch drive mount um, your five and a quarter inch right here You've got some really nice cable management features in here now. Hold on, I'm trying to do this without getting a shadow in here. Right here, right here, over here, and here. Well, now your power supply's in the way over there. But anyways, yeah. Oh, you can pop up over here so you can have stuff running up through here and over here, if you can see. I don't know if you can. You can stash cables up in there. Yeah, this is a really great case for uh, cable management. For the price, I mean, really, this is a fantastic case. I don't know if I'd go with another one if I had the choice, because it's just amazing for the price. You can see mine over here. I painted it like candy red, I guess. I still have to replace this fan. Anyways, I'll show you a tutorial on how to do that. I have to replace. I have to flip that over and replace the top fan. Anyways, so yeah, this has been my unboxing and review of the NZXT Beta Evo case.